Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Karate UI automation tutorial, we are going to learn about the attribute function in Karate UI. So we have learned about the value function. Now let's see what exactly the attribute function is all about and what it will help you to achieve in your test automation journey. So if you go to the attribute, you will see that get the HTML element attribute value by the attribute name. Okay, so attribute function in Karate UI automation will help you to get the value of the attribute by its name. Okay, now let's see what exactly is an attribute in HTML. Okay, so if we go to this particular website, right, so the same training dot uh, rcvacademy.com and on uh, the simple html page until unless go, you go ahead and see the code you won't be able to see what exactly the attribute means so if say for example let me go to this get access button okay i'll right click click on inspect and it will open this particular detail here so okay so any browser you will see that you will have some some basically some of the uh, tags and then say for example the href right so href and then it has the value associated with it okay so the value at the moment this is the name okay this is one of the attribute and this is the value okay class is the name okay of the attribute and the value of the class is this value that has been highlighted okay similarly if we go ahead and see the data underscore uh, hyphen unique id is the attribute one of the attribute of this particular tag right a anchor tag and the value is the value that is associated with that particular attribute right so data hyphen action if you see so data tags and then data hyphen action uh, action the value is submit okay so these are some of the attributes that are defined here okay so if we say data hyphen submit uh, href this is the value okay so what the attribute function is going to do for us it will give us the value or return the value if we provide the name what is the name say for example i want to get see what is the value of this particular attribute data hyphen submit href okay so if we simply go ahead so let me right click and get the locator we have to get the locator okay so i'll just right click and then say copy x path and then paste here okay so this looks okay and uh, this looks dynamic but uh, let's see if that works then that's fine otherwise we'll pick some other web element right because what why this looks dynamic because if you'll see that cu hyphen form and then there is a number right so these these numbers most probably might change once the uh, page refreshes so let me let me refresh and then see 27922 is what it is at the moment and let me refresh and then we'll go to the same button inspect that's uh, still loading if i right click inspect again so yes here we are if we copy right click copy the x path and let's see okay uh look, looks okay uh still 27922 so let's see let's use this if it doesn't work then we'll find the other locator now these locator strategies that i am directly copying is not the ideal scenario that you will be using right there is a complete x path series go ahead with that and you will learn how to get the best locators for the web element okay i'm mentioning this in each and every video because locator strategies are the first and fundamental things to master in automation okay because otherwise your automation framework it doesn't matter how best you make it it's of no use if your script are not able to locate the web elements okay so simply copy this and now here let me get a notepad and paste the locator okay minimize it now let me copy this get set value okay and i'll rename it to the attribute okay so attribute dot feature so we don't have to write everything else and open this file here okay now let me remove all of the details from this file and only keep some so we are just opening the page right and we want to get the attribute okay so i'll say get attribute okay that attribute and similarly okay so we are opening the browser which is firefox browser and then opening this particular website right and then we have used the value right so previously we have used the value let's change it to the attribute okay so i'll say and to get the attribute value the function is the attribute okay and then what we are we need to specify we need to specify the locator and the attribute that we want to get the value for okay so let me copy the attribute function and here first thing we have to specify the locator okay so which 
locator or which value we are looking for so here we were looking for this particular locator okay so we'll simply copy this locator which is get access button okay and here we'll change it to the single quotes because we have double quotes in the outside now for this particular web element which attribute value you want to fetch okay so there are many attributes in this particular web element let's see what all attributes are there so you will see that this one data underscore data hyphen submit href right so this has the value let me remove this okay so this is the attribute and then data hyphen list is another attribute data hy hyphen submit actions is another attribute so if i want to get a value of one of the attribute here i'll simply say data under hyphen submit href and it should fetch this value which is the link of this particular attribute right so i'll copy that attribute and i'll simply provide here comma separated the attribute data underscore submit href and that the value that is associated with this particular attribute in this particular web element will get fetched and then I can store it right if if there is a get value or I'm getting some value I can definitely then define a variable okay I can say def and then I'll say att whatever name you want to specify I'll simply say att value and then this function should store that value here so the link should get stored here okay so this link this is the value right this is the value https and then up to this place here this should get stored there okay and now i should be able to print it right so if i say i and print attribute value it should print that value okay so let's quickly run this and see that everything works as expected so opening the browser it has opened the website okay the execution has almost finished let's open the report and see the details there so karate summary dot html and it has passed so you'll see that the attribute has been stored okay if i go to this value you'll see that http all of that link that was associated with this attribute for that particular web element which is this one has been printed here okay now if say for example i want to get another attribute value the function and the usage is almost same there is no difference absolutely same so if i want more attributes okay so here say for example let's say i'll get some more attributes so this time i will fetch say data hyphen unique id okay and then i also want to say verify okay so usually you won't just fetch it you will also say for example verify that the attribute value actually matches with the expected so say for example i want to see that the attribute that i am getting here actually matches okay so i can also use the match keyword so here i'll simply just Re remove this and then store this data hyphen unique id attribute as unique id okay and then i can match right so what i can do is i can say and match unique id is equal to the actual value okay so what is the actual value that i want to match it against with this value okay so if the attribute value that will be fetched by this attribute for the web element matches this value then this step will pass okay so here one more thing you have to remember is that we are storing this so whatever value that will be stored here is in the string right so it's a string data type so we simply need to put it in the quotes as well okay so it will verify that the string that is being fetched from here matches the string the actual string okay so let's quickly run this and see the result so opening the browser opening the website it has finished execution let's quickly open the report okay so it has failed let's see what the failure is so it has failed the match okay so the value that has been fetched okay is something else and the actual value is ending with four nine right so that's why the failure has happened but the actual value is 48 okay but if that value is basically matching so instead of that let's see if we have some other attribute there okay instead of so you'll see that it's actually 48 okay so why did it change to 49 let's change it to 48 okay we'll see it should pass okay uh, now it should actually go ahead pass okay open the website execution has finished let me refresh and this time it will you will see that it has actually matched 
right so this value has been matched with the attribute value that is being fetched for this particular attribute and the last value has been printed which is basically this attribute underscore value for the data hyphen submit href attribute okay so this is how you are going to work with the attribute function i'll cover briefly about that match function uh, or matching so i have used it separately the match but you can use it in the single line as well as it has been mentioned here in the documentation so i can also do something like this instead of storing it in the variable okay i can simply say and match okay attribute whatever will be found here with something okay so here as mentioned here with double equals and the attribute value okay so simply double equals there and the value that we want to match against with okay so both are same you can either store it in a variable first and then match like the way we did before or you can remove this whole line okay and do the match in just a single line okay so match attribute value whatever it will be fetched with the real value in a single line okay so that's about the attribute function in karate ui very helpful to work with any of the attribute for the web element uh, and fetching the attribute verifying or matching the attribute values very helpful so go ahead explore more options around the attribute function and be comfortable with using these functions that i'm explaining so that will help you a lot in your upcoming automation framework and other advanced sections of this tutorial series so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching